Hi, I'm Ann, Executive Editor of Food for Cooking Light. I have a great question here from Lashanta Harris. She asks, when marinating chicken and then cooking it in the oven instead of on the grill, how do you keep it juicy but not greasy? Do I use a wire rack or should I cook it in um, a 13 by 9 inch baking pan? Okay, this is a good question. First of all, you do need to cook it on a rack or on a broiler pan, which comes with a built-in rack. You want to lift it up off the bottom of the pan, and that does two things. One, it allows air to circulate under the bird as it cooks, so it's going to be more evenly cooked, and it's not going to be sitting in the drippings that come off, which is what makes chicken soggy and greasy. We also learned in a recent test a great, great tip for roasting chicken in the oven. We did a side-by-side -side comparison with three different birds, all the same weight, all with the same exact seasonings. We just cooked them a little differently. One chicken we started at high temperature and then lowered the temperature toward the end of cooking. One chicken we cooked at moderate heat the whole time, and the last chicken we started at moderate heat, 350 degrees for 45 minutes and then crank the heat for the last 15 minutes to 450 degrees. That last bird was a winner by far. We couldn't believe it. It was incredibly moist. The seasonings kind of permeated through the bird more so than the other two chickens. We could not believe what a big difference it made. So I suggest roasting your chicken that way. Also, uh, when your chicken is done cooking, it's very important to let it rest. Don't just cut into it or carve it as soon as it comes out of the oven. You want to lock that moisture in, and in order to do so, you need to let it stand for about 10 or 15 minutes before you cut into it. Now, the recipe that I referenced, the roast chicken, is in our March issue, Classic Roast Chicken. It's incredible.